Shite. Shite. Absolute shite. Full time. There you go. Burnley have lost to one of the worst clubs in Premier League history. Shocking performance from Burnley, that. Zero, cre zero creativity. Absolutely. Court was a passenger, as I agree with Quilter. The midfield got, over, not overran, but the midfield was very quiet today. We were just very quiet all over the pitch. But as a lot of people have said, we are already safe at the end of the day. So that's probably what that was all about. We were shite against Leeds. We were shite against Liverpool. We were shite again today. And these are a very bad size. So today is very um, concerning, uh, particularly concerning, should I say. I'm not overly concerned because, as I've said, we are safe. And we do it every single year. As soon as we get safe, we just absolutely piss it off. The players are on holiday. They're on the beach. That's all they're bothered about. Uh, but not good enough uh, today. Uh, Simon, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, it's been uh, consistently sort of average, haven't we, uh, in, in recent weeks. Um, that's, be that's been very calm, Liverpool, yeah. Yeah, Liverpool, we were, we were... No, because Liverpool, I thought we were relatively unlucky. Um, in some respects, because their goals were questionable in, in our manner anyway. And then we created chances and we think, oh, you know, if it had just got one of them in. And same with the Leeds game. I think that, taught, you know, when you look at the stats that we mentioned in the podcast previously, we were actually no, not that bad compared to them. I think we were even on absolutely everything. Shots, passes, shot chances created. The only thing were that they scored four of them and we scored none. So, it... This game, though, is a different thing for me. This game was that he just like he, I don't know. I can't even tell you that they were just sitting there thinking, "Right, let's get this over with, and we can go on holiday." It wasn't even that. It was just the case of Chef. You put that ball in the net. They sat back. We we could not break them down. We had nothing to offer. The four five one didn't work. No, Changed it to a four four two, and Vidra is all over That's the all. place. You know, what I mean, I want to see him on as well. As much as everybody, but he was falling over the ball. He couldn't turn. He couldn't keep keep control of it. Uh, trying too hard potentially, just wasn't working. Um, and we played too narrow. I don't know why we did that, but every time we got the ball, we we just did a straight ball. There were no sort of like wing play. Uh, yeah, no, it weren't good enough in some respects. But I'm not going to take it and be concerned and think, oh shit, we're going to struggle next year because of that. Because I don't think it's a, a reflection of who we actually are. No, I agree with that. I just think it's concerning the fact that there's... I I just think that it's, whether it's they're on the beach or or it's a case of you've hit the target so you just naturally relax. I, I just think there's, as soon as they hit that target every single season, they're nowhere near as good as they normal. Even in the Europa League season, once we finished seventh, because that naturally became the target because we are doing so well, once they guaranteed seventh, I think they guaranteed it like third or fourth game before end of season, didn't they? Same that year, they were just Phil Babber after it. Same again this season. We've stayed up and then we've been absolutely Phil Bab. The problem is, I think, what you've got in this scenario is you, you're playing away, the fans are there. You know, the fans are a 12 man, but they were quiet. But I can't yeah, even say that the... the the fans even contributed to that, in my opinion. I don't think they did. No, I just think we were pretty poor. They they probably felt like they had a point to prove, but I didn't look at that game and feel like they outclassed us. I just think both teams offered absolutely nothing. Both teams didn't do enough to win the game. As soon as they scored, like you said, they didn't really do anything after that. And then... We didn't do anything all game. It was just that's probably the worst game of the season for me. I'm not not the worst performance, the worst game. It was just shy. It was all so boring. Shocking, man. It was terrible. Crap. And then do you know that when you look at our bench compared to their bench, I know they spent twenty odd million on Brewster, but I'd rather have J Rod and Barnes and Vidra uh, and whoever else were on that bench than any of their players on the bench. I didn't think they offered anything. Even Jaggy Elke, like as we all the wealth of experience he's got. I feel like our squad is far better than Chef U. So to get turned over in such a manner with it is, is disheartening a little bit. Yep, I um, I agree with that. Graham Jennings says Spurs make it four. 
Um, so Spurs have qualified um, for the European Conference League, with the sound of it. Uh, Christine Lonsdale says, thanks, Joe and Simon. Enjoy the summer. I think I read that one out earlier, didn't I? But yeah, thank you, Christine. Like I said, this isn't what we're... We don't stop here. There will be another podcast out on Thursday. And then there will be another stream out probably um, on YouTube or on Facebook coming up. So just keep your eyes open on all the social media channels. Uh, Adam Broxton says, wow, what a shit show. Uh, that game, yeah, I can't, can't disagree with that. Cal Suckley says, each... Choose one player that sound and so we'll do that on the next stream, mate. So keep your eyes peeled for stuff like that on the next stream. Um, we're just going to do sort of like a reaction now. Danny Omerod says, purely embarrassing, we belong in the championship. Um, a bit harsh, mate. Obviously, we don't belong in the championship simply because Chef United are worse than us. <laughs> it's all right saying that when they're just beating us, but uh, as are Fulham and West Brom, we, we were quite comfortable in terms of staying up in the end, to be fair, but we weren't good enough today. Nowhere near good enough. Um, James Smith says, I'll delay their holiday and make them training next week. That was so shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carl Smith says, Can they can they not get a goal? They've had over 90 minutes to get one, for fuck's sake. Kevin Hampson says, Pathetic. David Logan says, Crap. Big money need, needed to be spent. I do agree with that just because of the fact that we've had lack of investment over the past however many, many seasons. Joey Schilling carries on with that. He says, We need a minimum of five million players this transfer window. None of that for the future crap, though, and stop this 50p basement buys from Stoke. Yeah, we need to bring in first-team players. That's something we haven't done since we signed Chris Wood. So we do need to do that. We'll just quickly break away from the match reaction. We've had more stars. Robert Benson, that's a name I've not seen for a while. Hope you're all right, Robert. It's good to see your name, mate. Thank you very much for the 50 stars. I appreciate that. All the Facebook stars are always appreciated. Um, Matt Lovecock, he sort of like agrees with you, Simon, a little bit. He says we were good against Liverpool, but we're poor against the rest since we stayed up. I don't know. I think with that Liverpool game, we had chances, but I think ultimately we did deserve to lose. But it is Liverpool at the end of the day, so um, I, I can't necessarily disagree with that too much. Joe Clark says made a terrible season, much better with these watch alongs. Thanks, fellas. That's nice of you, pal. I appreciate that comment. Thank you very much. So we're back next year. And Matt Lovecock says, Have a good summer, lads. David Logan says, We need a new team. Anti football says usual dog shit end of the season not to play for wank. Thank F. We are already safe. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, Dan Taylor says, Do we think Brentford or Swansea joining us? We've discussed that one, mate, but I'm going to say Brentford. Uh, I hope Brentford as well. Yep. Um, Bethany says, Poor performance from Burnley today. Matt Lowcock says, Streams where the England games are on. Yes, Matt, we are going to be doing streams where the England games are on. Whether I do it on Facebook, Turfcast, or YouTube, Turfcast, or create a new brand entirely, I don't know. I'll probably, I'll probably just do it on, on YouTube. I don't know, but you all follow us on Facebook and you all follow us on Twitter. So just keep your eyes peeled. We will, we will be there or thereabouts. Um, Sue says, "People, stop going on about money. Uh, we should be putting in better performance than that. It was just lazy players. I agree with the fact we should be putting in a better performance against Sheffield United. Definitely. I don't necessarily think they were lazy. I've, I've already discussed it. I think they're, I think they're just on the beach. I just think they're not as bothered." Uh, at the minute, anyway, we've had some more stars. Bethany again, that Bethany needs to chill out. I mean, thank you very much, I appreciate it. But another 200 stars from Bethany, uh, thank you very, very much. Save your stars for next week, Beth. Don't send them all this week because you need an eight week streak next week. There you go. Uh, David Logan says, You lads are great. I might watch you a lot next season instead of the Clarets. Um, uh, yeah, we will be doing streams next season, maybe just for the away games. Over uh, Robert Benson says, hey, Good to see you again, though, Robert. He says, Cheers, lads. Sorry, being away for a while. Ease to a better season with fans back on the turf next August. Yeah, so um, early thoughts on next season then, Simon, before we wrap it up. Big, so it's obviously, it's it's hard to say now, isn't it? We, we need to spend in the summer, don't we? So it's difficult to say at the minute. Yeah, we definitely need to spend. Um, but we've needed to spend for a while. And then, like, I, you know, I can't remember it were now that said, you know, none of this investment for the future. But I don't think if you give any club that it's proven not, Often, that if you give a club a brand new set of players, it takes them forever to gel. And by that point, seasons are over or even worse, relegated. Um, yeah. I don't think getting four or five players that are first team regulars will solve the problem. I think it needs to be four or five people that are trying to break into a first team. I'd like to see a mixture of both. I think we do need first team players to come in and slot into the first team. But we, I think to give. Like you say, the starting eleven that kick up the arse, you're going to need some players that are knocking on the door of the first team and doing really well in the reserves, whatever it is, um, on the 23s, um, and do it that way. But so yeah, a nice mixture for me. Yeah, I'd like to. I, I do think we need one or two to fit straight in. But like you said, four or five 
going in and changing half the team. And Dash has his way of working. And, and look at other players. Tarkovsky didn't get in there for a year. You know, um, Gibson didn't get in there. And, uh, you know, he'll be playing Premier League football next year, probably. You've got uh, Vidra. You know, we're, we're, how successful he's been in the last five or six games. Didn't get in there straight away. Um, Dash ain't going to bring in five or six people and say, there's your first. Brownhill didn't get, you know, I didn't have a consistent start. Now, now we're like, no. Shoe on and him into any position. He's become the Hendrick in that sense, hasn't he? Um, but yeah, e even if we bring in, I think, like I said, the last time we did something like that, it was Chris Wood, wasn't it? Um, he just slotted in, but with someone of Chris Wood's ability, you can kind of understand it. Even Charlie Taylor will be behind Chris Ward for six months. Uh, <laughs> Chris Ward, Stephen Ward for six months. So it's one of them. Big yeah. shout out to Gicky Murtroid, by the way, before Simon responds to that. He sent us 50 stars, I think it was. Thank you very much, Gicky. I appreciate that. Just watching uh, the goal table, now, yeah. Go on. Picked it up. No one push, pushing him. Defence backing off. West is the nearest. Jimmy Dunn's miles away. Just... Jimmy Dunn's miles away. Talk is... I think Talk is trying to pick a run off. No, he's not. It goes towards Jimmy Dunn, and Jimmy Dunn's too deep for me. But I think I still think Norris should save that. And if you watch Talk's reaction, yeah. he throws his arm in the air. So I think he thinks Norris should save that. Don't surprise me, mate. Um, but yeah, that's it for this uh, watch along. And that's it for this season. Unfortunately, we have finished 17th and we haven't even hit 40 points this season. So that is, for me, a bit of a worry next season. Um, ultimately, we've been nine points well, away from the drop. We are nine points away from the drop. Yeah. And we were never really anywhere near it. But 39 points in a Premier League season, that's pretty poor, isn't it? It is poor. It's not good. But we all said at the beginning of the season when we didn't sign anyone, we only got a Dale Stevens in. We, we you know, we, we're going to go down. And even though we're now, you know, we are seventeenth, we're now points above seventeenth, and we never, re I never really thought we were going down. Uh, so I think in, when you look at the, the overall picture, it's been a successful season when we were all shitting ourselves at the beginning when there was zero yeah. transfers in. What were it? Eight, eight games without a win. We need to start the next season well. That's what we need to do. We need to bring players in and start next season well because we always end up putting ourselves in these positions because we have a slow start. The, like I said, it, I've said it many times on the podcast, the one time we didn't start slowly is when we finished seventh. So if we get off to a decent start, who knows what we can achieve. But yeah, like I said, that's it for this week's Watch Along. That's it for this season as well, unfortunately. It's been a weird season. Um it's been a weird season. Cheers, Ian. He says, cheers, guys. Catch you over the summer. Come on, England. Yeah, definitely. We'll be doing stuff over the summer, 100%. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's been a weird season because of the lack of fans, because of the lack of investment. Um, so, ultimately, the goal was to stay up and build on build on this next season. But, don't know, I am a little bit worried for next season, but we'll have that debate over the summer numerous times, I imagine. Uh, but thank you for coming on, Simon. Thank you, mate. Thanks for having us. No worries. And uh, Geeky Murtroid puts me right. He says we finished 11 points above Fulham. So there you go. It wasn't even nine. It was 11. So That's thank you very much for that, Geeky. Oh, we're nowhere near it, were we? But that just... But like, it sounds successful because teams normally go down on like 35 points, don't they? This season, we've stayed up with 39 and we're 11 points away from the bottom three. That shows how shit the bottom three have been. Hopefully, they're just a shit next yeah. season. If Brentford come up, I think they'll be quite shit. Uh, Norwich are always shit. All uh, three, by the way. Well, take West Brom out of it, but the other two invested heavily. Yeah, you know fully I mean? Sheffield United did as well. Money, no, don't it? get away from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're spot on there, to be fair. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled. If you're not following us on the social media channels yet, please do. Uh, we'll have stuff coming out over the summer for the Euros. We'll obviously we'll soon be doing the podcasts, as and when. We will have a little bit of a summer break, but that won't be for a few weeks minimum yet. Um, and we might even do a Euro podcast. Who knows? We will see. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for watching this week's Watch Along. Thank you for getting us to 500 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you to everybody who sent stars. Thank you to everybody who watched. Thank you to everybody who shared. And thank you to everybody who react. We will see you um, on Thursday for the next podcast. Bye.